In this video, I'm going to show you how you can narrate your PowerPoint presentations and also get them ready for the web so that students won't need PowerPoint installed in their computer in order to view your presentation. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure our microphones are set up. And we can do that by going to the Start menu and clicking on Control Panel. Then you click on Hardware and Sound and then click on Sound. Then in the pop-up window, click on the Recording tab and next to the microphone we're going to be using, make sure you have a green check mark next to it. That means it's our default microphone. If you don't have a green check mark next to the microphone you're going to be using, left click on the microphone and then click Set Default. Then you can click OK and we'll close this window and open up our PowerPoint presentation. Now when our presentation opens up, click on the Slideshow tab and then we're going to click on the drop down menu underneath Record Slideshow. This will give us a couple of options. We could either start recording from the beginning or if we wanted to edit a particular narration on a slide, we could start recording from the current slide and then we would start recording from whatever slide is on the stage at the time. However, we're going to start recording from the beginning, so I'll click on that option. Then in the pop-up window, make sure you have slide and animation timings checked and also narrations and laser pointer checked. Then you can click Start Recording. Now before we start recording, I'll give you a little instructions on how these controls work. In the upper left corner you'll see your recording controls. This arrow can advance us to the next slide, which there are a lot of different ways to do that. I like to use the keys on the keyboard. And then here's the pause button where you can pause, regain your thoughts, and then start your recording again. If you completely screw up and you want to start your recordings over, you'll select this option here. However, you need to be recording in order to use this option. Here we go. Now as soon as I hit resume recording, now I'm going to start all over again and I'll record my presentation. Here we go. In this presentation, I'm going to explain to you the importance of accessibility. There's a lot of interesting statistics that come along with accessibility and now I'll share a few with you. One-fifth of the population has some form of disability or another, whether it be auditory, visual, motor, or cognitive. Also, many people won't admit to having a disability. People usually don't exploit the fact that they are colorblind or having a hard time seeing or hearing. Just because you don't have a disability today doesn't mean that you won't have one tomorrow. Many people suffer from loss of eyesight and hearing due to aging. There's also some important facts to know about creating accessible content. One fact is that it doesn't take any longer to do, it's just a different way of doing things. Just by adding heading styles to your documents provides equal access to documents for everyone. A good example of this is by the way that People with good eyesight can just skim through a document by looking at the headings to find the paragraph they want to read. If a screen reader were reading a document and there were not headings applied to that document, they wouldn't be able to skip from paragraph to paragraph. They would have to read every paragraph on the page before they found the paragraph they were looking for. And once people understand how screen readers will interpret documents, creating accessible documents will come naturally just like you do now. And finally, I want to thank everyone for keeping accessibility in mind. Now when I was done with my presentation, I clicked the escape key on the keyboard and that brought me out back out to this screen. Now you'll see I have my recordings on each slide 
by this little sound icon in the bottom right corner. And now that all of my narrations are complete, I'm going to save this PowerPoint file as a movie file. So I'll go up to the File menu and select Save As. And from the drop down menu, I'm going to select Windows Media Video. Now I'm going to put this file on the desktop and then I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to minimize the presentation and show you that the video file is on the desktop. There's the video file. Now I'm going to go to YouTube and upload my video so that all users, whether they're viewing on an iPad, a Macintosh, or a Windows computer, they'll all be able to see my presentation without having to download anything additional. To open a YouTube account is free, all you need to do is go to YouTube.com. After you've done that, make sure you're logged into your YouTube account and then click on Upload. Now click on Select Files from your computer. Now I'm going to browse to my desktop and I'm going to select my movie file. Now I'll click Open. Now as your video is uploading, you can type in a title and a description and also some keywords for your video. Now when entering in keywords, you should separate each keyword with a comma. Also note that capital letters are meaningless when entering tag keywords. When you're finished entering all your descriptions, you'll see that your video is saved down here. YouTube automatically saves your videos, but it's always important to check to make sure that it is saved. Now I'll make sure my video is listed as public so everyone can view it. And now I'm going to manage my videos. At the top of the list is where my new presentation is. I'll click on the icon to view my video. In this presentation, I'm going to explain to you the importance of accessibility. There's a lot of interesting statistics that come along with accessibility and now I'll share a few with you. One fifth of the population has some form of disability or another, whether it be auditory, visual, motor, or cognitive. Also, many people won't admit to having a disability. People usually don't exploit the fact that they are colorblind or having a hard time seeing or hearing. Just because you don't have a disability today doesn't mean that you won't have one tomorrow. Many people suffer from loss of eyesight and hearing due to aging. There's also some important facts to know about creating accessible content. One fact is that it doesn't take any longer to do, it's just a different way of doing things. Just by adding heading styles to your documents, provides equal access to documents for everyone. A good example of this is by the way that people with good eyesight can just skim through a document by looking at the headings to find the paragraph they want to read. If a screen reader were reading a document and there were not headings applied to that document, they wouldn't be able to skip from paragraph to paragraph. They would have to read every paragraph on the page before they found the paragraph they were looking for. And once people understand how screen readers will interpret documents, creating accessible documents will come naturally, just like you do now. And finally, I want to thank everyone for keeping accessibility in mind. Now there are certainly many ways to convert your PowerPoint presentations for the web, but I've found by uploading it to YouTube is the most universal since it will work on an iPad. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.